How's it going, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to some more Spellbreak content. I'm Ego3, and this is the fourth episode of Basic Gauntlet, where we take the gauntlets that we have so far, and we kind of break them down in a little more digestible pieces for newer players. Uh, this is like the halfway point. This is where the gauntlets become a little less new player friendly and a little bit more technical uh, and a little bit more difficult. So don't let that scare you. Uh, and don't let that uh, make you forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and I'm so, so close to that uh, 40 subscriber mark, my next milestone. That's enough about me. Let's talk about you. Actually, let's talk about the gauntlet. Gauntlet today is Temptist. Temptist is what we're talking about today. Temptist's spell is Wind Shear. You rapidly summon gusts of wind to damage your opponents and deflect their spells. Tornado <clears throat> is your sorcery. Tornado, you conjure a tornado that pulls your opponents in. Uh, your skills are as follow. Wind Surge. On Wind Shear Ground Hit, you Wind Jump. That'll make more sense once we get in the game and I can show you what that means. Updraft, you're immune to your tornado pull. And on entering your tornadoes, you get launched into the air. Squall uh, is your third ability. In, in air, your spell damage is increased 20%. And while you're also in air... Incoming damage reduced 10%. And then your capstone, your last skill for Temptus is Sudden Gust in your in air for one second. Sorcery cooldown speed 100%. That's pretty neat. That means tornadoes will be flying out of there. But that's something we can all talk about once we're in uh, the demonstration. So, yeah, I guess let's get in there. As per usual, we start off by showing off what the spell looks like you have like almost a little frisbee wind or wind wind frisbees that you kind of throw out and about let me try and get a good look at it can't really see it super well but you kind of get the idea so that's your spell and then your sorcery it looks like this this is the targeting this is your uh tornado so let me kind of cast it a little further away so we can look at it beautiful all right, now let me show you what it does up close. As you can see, I'm I'm pulled into the center. Great. Onto the first skill, which is called Wind Surge. Let's you jump using your gauntlet. It lets you do a basic attack. It lets you cast a spell at the ground and you jump with it. So kind of a uh, nice little demonstration here. It goes pretty high, like it's not bad at all. So using this tower as an example, let me float up there. Let me show you how much mana I use floating up there. All of it, all of my mana with no amulet, no talents, nothing boosting me. That is just raw managed usage. Now let's look at what the gauntlet does. So to use Wind Surge, you have to be looking at the object you want to go off of. So if I want to go up, I need to look down. And it works also if I want to go out, but we can show that later. Now let's see how much mana I use when I'm using Wind Surge. Far less, meaning I can get up to this high point and be ready to fight whoever is here. I'm able to contest it now because I have mana to spare. Like I said earlier, it doesn't just work on going down, but also out. You can hit things like trees or other walls and it'll help you go out. This is where the kind of technical ability comes in because you have to really kind of know what you're looking for and at, and especially if you're trying to use this to escape means your person can be right on, or not right on you, but the complete opposite direction than you're looking, or possibly in the direction that you are looking. As far as damage goes, it's not a lot. The Wind Gauntlet has its own unique skills for mobility, but six damage for each hit is nothing to laugh at. However, it's also not the strongest gauntlet when you can get around 40 off a stone shaper. However, it is the highest DPS gauntlet dealing about 36 damage in 2.5 seconds. Or if you had a larger amulet, you could probably get away with much more. The Tempest or Wind Gauntlet does scale with rarity of gauntlet. So as we were doing six damage with a common gauntlet, we now do 11 damage with a legendary gauntlet. We were doing 36 prior in 2.5 seconds. We are now doing a whopping total of about 77, 66 to 77 damage in about three seconds. So you can see the changes there between Comet all the way up to Legendary. So we've seen Wind Surge and how it can help with mobility. Well, let's see our second mobile skill, Updraft. 
With Updraft, you're now immune to your tornado pull, so let me kind of inch close to this, and as you can see, I'm not being pulled in. Even if I jump, I'm not pulled in. But if I was to enter into the radius or the diameter of my tornado, let's see what happens. I'm now shot up into the air where I can get a aerial view and also start using my wind surge again where I can move around and even bunny hop my way across the map. Dash runes particularly pair well with the Temptus Gauntlet mainly because it gives you extra mobility in all directions as well as giving you a little boost, however small it may be, is still enough to maybe give some more detail. So let me show you this. As you could see, I kept my momentum going forward while also being launched up in the air, being able to traverse higher objects using it. Our next skill is Squall, more collectively called Squall Damage. You get an increase, about 20% increase of damage when you're in the air, and while you're also in the air, you get a 10% reduction of incoming damage. Well, let's check that out. Our on the ground damage is 12 right now, where we're standing and how close we are. If we were to jump and hit, it increases to 14. I'm not moving forward. Oh, that was 15. Probably because I'm aiming at the head now. But you can see that it increases as we're in the air. You also get this visual cue around you that you have Squall activated by a little wind surge going around you. You may be wondering, do I have to jump every time I want to use it? Well, that is a strat, and although it is frustrating to currently fight against, it is a current uh, strategy. However, with that, with Squall, compare, er, in addition to Wind Surge, you can run up on someone and juggle them. Or I guess you'll be juggled, but you know what I mean. You can just kind of float there. As long as you're in the air, you're dealing Squall damage. It should be mentioned at this time that the further you away are from your target, like most gauntlets, they take less damage. However, I feel that Temptus has one of the highest drop-offs that we see in our gauntlets. While well, I was doing around 15 to maybe 16 damage up close, I'm now only doing 4. Cut the distance to around half, and I'm only doing 6. Now with our last skill called Sudden Gust, while we're in the air for 1 second, so you have to be in the air for a second or more, you get 100% cooldown on your sorcery. So let's check out an original without being in the air. Cooldown is about 14 seconds. Now let's see what it's like while you're in the air. I think you'll notice that the cooldown goes way, way faster. It says it's almost, or it is 100% reduction. And uh, I will try and stay in the air as long as possible because I have to stay longer than one second and however long it takes for the cooldown. So as we were originally at about 14 seconds, let's see how low we can get that cooldown or how, uh, how quickly it takes. And I'll try and stay in the air as long as possible. Definitely quicker than 14 seconds. I would say that was probably around five, uh, seven seconds. It would make sense for it to be seven seconds. I personally like the Temptus or Wind Gauntlet because it has such good synergy with so many other gauntlets. So for instance, let's check out the Sorcery again. Tornado, right? Well, let's catch it on fire. Or, you know, have it be lightning instead. Or maybe you just want it to be toxic. <clears throat> the overall synergy is very good when it can synergize with three different gauntlets, deal two different types of damage in your sorcery, and overall have nice, excellent, just overall combo damage in a whole. Because your toxic can be set into dragon fire, your fire can be set into dragon fire, uh, and your uh, conduit, your tempters and conduit mix up, makes them stun with you know shock damage. So, as you can see, it's a fairly good gauntlet. So that's all I have for you today. Overall, I think that we are starting to ramp up the difficulty with Wind Surge having to be kind of very understanding of what your map or at least the layout is around you to really get the best use out of it. And the overall high mobility makes it an excellent gauntlet for escaping. However, the low damage from the gauntlet itself makes it kind of difficult to start off and play with. However, when you can combo all your other gauntlets with it, it seems like a pretty good deal, especially when you get good damage off it. Fall damage is a touchy subject with some of the Spellbreak community, however, I think it is wonderful, especially when you can bunny hop 
and deal around 50 damage with the right build. Overall, I think this gauntlet is good. It is technically difficult to get used to, and I recommend starting off with Pyromancer, Toxologist, or Stone Shaper first before diving into this one because it's going to take a little bit extra skill and understanding of Spellbreak. Overall, I think it is good. With all that said, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and I look forward to hearing from all of you. And yeah, that's all I got. So as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.